we are Robert and Yuriki, and welcome to another episode on renovating our house in the southwest of France. This week, we relived the summer where we renewed our roof. When our renovation started, we were stuck in Finland during lockdown and having found a great builder, we decided to give him the trust of starting even though we would not be there in person. The first project he tackled was renewing the entire electrics in the house. The electrics were too old and did not conform to the modern standard. So by law, we just needed to upgrade. While on this job and with poor phone signal in the house, our builder took a call in our attic one wet and rainy day and upon closer inspection he realised how poor the condition of the roof was with water coming in in many places. He rang us urgently leaving us with the big decision to make and that of course was to renew the whole roof. This threw our renovation plan and budget into chaos. But with such an essential structure of the house, we went straight ahead and work started in the summer of 2021. The project started by stripping the roof of all the old tiles and battens. The rafters and A-frame were thankfully still sound so they could stay in place. And interestingly, we came across building methods of many different ages in the construction of the roof frame. We, for example, discovered wooden pegs indicating that the house could be even hundreds of years old. Also pre-industrial metal screws and bolts Strangely, nobody knew the age of the house, even the family who we had bought the house from, the mayor of the village. Nobody seemed to know, but finding these little details at least gave us some insight into the potential age of the property. It was such an amazing sight when all the tiles were gone from the roof. We wished that moment would be so cool to have a glass roof, letting all that beautiful light in. We ended up keeping the original window positions. There is one old big window and three smaller skylights, which we changed into newer ones, of course. They bring light in nicely from the east and the evening sun rays come beautifully from the west. The process going forward was seemingly uncomplicated, with first laying down a breathable waterproof membrane, then adding new roof battens and attaching the new tiles on top. Originally we had flat tiles, but we were advised to go with the Romaine Canal tiles, which we can see is the most common in our region, and generally found throughout Southern Europe and we opted for a slightly distressed finish on the tiles in keeping with the old building rather than it looking too new. We were lucky enough to save the decorative finials from the old roof. We cleaned them up and our builder reinstated them on the new roof. We also took the opportunity while the scaffolding was still up to repoint the chimneys and to renew the guttering. Our builder even hand molded a special gutter on the party wall where a ready-made fixture would have not worked. We opted for zinc which just works beautifully with the house and everything combined I think it looks rather smart or what do you think?
Our next step with the attic is redoing the floor and then continuing with the insulating the ceiling. If anyone has any tips on the insulating process, we would be delighted to hear. As winters are quite short in our area, we do not need anything too heavy duty though. Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments. Just as we felt safe with having done this huge work, a new series of problems opened with the house structure and again our plans and budgets were put to the test. Welcome to subscribe to follow our upcoming renovation videos. See you next week.